Good morning. It's Thursday, September 3rd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Essential Rivals, and our scriptures from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, where Paul writes, The human body has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. The eye can never say to the hand, I don't need you. The head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. If one part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. And if one part is honored, all the parts are glad. It's all so very connected. Politics, religion, love, sex, money, breathing, or anything else you care to name. The muse for this post is from a Facebook post of a friend that pictured Native Americans' wisdom about wings of the bird as being part of the same body. Of course, the older source would be Paul's letter to the Corinthian church. We are indeed the body, albeit connected in some very strange ways. Yep, that same crazy bird in the middle is us, humanity. We are an incredibly complex dodo bird, and we need every part. What plucks this analogy string so annoyingly resonant today is this time of year in a quadrennial political season. Pandemic notwithstanding, the political push has been quieter, but lurking nonetheless. It seems to have ramped up lately as the push toward November elections draws near. Now, with limited space and a huge subject, especially for a five-minute devotional, let me get right to the point. If we are so connected, how can we possibly think anyone is useless? Yet you hear it every day. Republicans think Democrats belong in recycling, and Democrats demonize Republicans. With every mention of or citing of Black Lives Matter, the blue, white, red, Asian, gender-specific, straight, or whatever lives cry for equal time. Preferential treatment, by definition, places one person's value over another. And here's the rub in any arena with any part of the analogy you care to push. Wings on the same bird were designed by our Creator to balance each other, to support each other and keep us moving along, soaring, going higher. But when the wings on that bird are so busy swatting each other, that bird is going down. From a Christian perspective, with all the backing of Holy Scripture to strengthen that previous statement and empower the church to live it, even with the power to shame us into living it, we still can't get it right. Traditional thinking Christians demonize progressive leaning Christians and the blessing is returned. And we get better at swatting each other as time passes. What a pitiful example of Christ's love. For you today, if you're of age and inclination, this November you'll cast a vote. The election will be over. There will be a president. And four years later, if the eagle hasn't crashed and burned, we'll do it again. Keep the perspective that governments, movements, news cycles, and your 401k are all temporary. The soul of another person is permanent. Act with care accordingly. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.